A very common uh, complaint that people have is slipping of the pegs. Um, so especially when you're trying to tighten them really tight, uh, it can be they, they slip. Um, violins shops do sell drops. They're called uh, peg drops. Um, not sure what's in them. Probably some sort of a uh, wax or an oil or some something. But there is a, a much simpler, uh, I, I suppose you can call it a Pontian remedy for this. Uh, it's called saliva. So what you do is you loosen the peg. I've loosened this one already. Uh, you lift it up. Okay. Now, the the, the amount of uh, wood that's in contact with the, the peg box is actually quite minimal. It's probably about 10 millimetres, depending on how the, um, the luthier has made it. So you don't have to put saliva right up, at, you know, throughout the whole peg, so you don't have to pull it right out. So you can, you can probably see here where it's just a bit shiny. Uh, so what happens is wood, wood has moisture in it, but over time it, um, the moisture leaves the wood, it dries out. And also just the, the turning of the wood over time can make that surface there really shiny. Um, you can scuff it up with a bit of sandpaper, but the easiest thing to do is, as I said, pull it out, loosen it up, loosen it up quite a bit, put a bit of saliva on your finger, and just put it around, right around the wood. And what that'll do is, uh, that'll soften the wood so it won't be as shiny. Um, it just loosens up the, the properties of the wood. Um, and then when, once you put it in, you'll find almost automatically, straight away, that it starts gripping a lot better. If it keeps slipping, just pull it out, put a bit, little bit more um, saliva on it. It'll just keep softening the, the top layer of the, uh, the wood. Um, and then it obviously you can't put saliva in, can't put your finger in the hole. So you just just keep putting it on the um, on the peg, and that for me works perfectly. I don't think you need peg drops. So for all the people that are complaining, um, try that simple remedy.